Hello, I'm Kansas Governor Laura Kelly. It's a pleasure to welcome all of you to the winter meeting of the Western Governors Association. Since the first case of COVID-19 appeared in the United States, governors across the nation have taken the lead on response in their states and regions. Here in Kansas, we are executing an all of the above comprehensive approach to slow the spread of the virus and keep our businesses and schools open until the vaccine is widely distributed. In November, I issued an executive order establishing face covering protocols statewide. The protocol creates a standard for face covering requirements for Kansans to follow, but also gives communities the ownership and flexibility to decide how to implement it in a way that works best for them. My administration also allocated resources to create a statewide public health campaign made possible by a dynamic coalition of stakeholders, including our Kansas Hospital Association, our Kansas Chamber of Commerce, our Kansas Farm Bureau, and others. The campaign encourages Kansans to do their part to slow the spread, including increased voluntary testing. We're also actively engaging with local officials through a new partnership with the Kansas Leadership Center. The Leadership Center has mobilized its alumni base, comprised of nearly 12,000 talented local leaders, to spearhead virtual, nonpartisan convenings across Kansas to generate grassroots support for virus mitigation efforts. We want Kansans to know that these simple mitigation efforts are the key to protecting small business owners, teachers, healthcare workers, and all those affected by the virus's harmful effects in Kansas and surrounding states. While virus mitigation is essential, my administration has not lost sight of our business recruitment and development efforts. Our revitalized Department of Commerce has continued to prioritize economic development to strengthen our foundation for post-pandemic growth. We already see the fruits of these efforts. Last month, the state officially surpassed $2 billion in capital investments in 2020 alone, and more than $3 billion in new capital investment since I took office in 2019. Kansas has the advantage with its central location, its multimodal transportation options, and its ample workforce as the perfect place for large manufacturers and distribution centers. By investing in our business recruitment tools and leaning on the existing advantages our state offers, we're setting the stage for long-term economic recovery. I appreciate the Western Governors Association work to help coordinate process and policy among our states. As we all know, the virus knows no borders. Interstate collaboration is critical for the health and success of our constituents and our economies during these unprecedented times. Thank you so much.